the Discount Tyres Handicap Hurdle is the next race then. And it's a pretty big fill for this one, about 20 of them, I think. It's over three miles, and it's a 0 to 140. We'll take a look at them as the top one is St. Orange for Darren Thompson. And Carnoustie for David Robertson, Persian Gulf for Jim Murray, Rutherglen Glen for David Robertson, Deadly Gulf for Jim Murray. Forest Rock for Kevin Meenahan, Half Pipe for Stu Gray, Louder Shining for Carla Agante, Pace Ashton Lord for Martin Lidham, Dolly for Stu Gray, Dame de Campagna for John Morgan, Drumhalla, Alex Cherry, Pembroke, Barra Killer for Graham Clutterbuck. Reluctant for Carla Agante, Amoya Super, Alex Cherry, Latterly Pepper and Bory Hill at Darren Howes, Finium Tam King and Obi-Wan's got the bottom two, Vanguard Dream and Outlaw Torn. So 20 of them then to face the starter in this three mile hurdle. We take an aerial sweep of the track and you can just about see the horses, there they are. We're gonna go straight past them. And presumably come here we go, back at the start and away we go. Three miles to travel this time, very short run to the first. And it's a very small flight of hurdles as well. They're all safely over it. Making their way down towards the second, the one pulling for its head at the front of the field is Outlaw Torn. Doesn't appear to be all that keen to lead, or the jockey doesn't appear to be all that keen to lead. The horse seems to want to lead, but boring all that on the outside is a known front runner. That one's going to go up and challenge. Also, there's a Carla Regante horse there, reluctant. They always run from the front. And Drumhalla for Alex Chew is also in that leading group of four. So then leading four, then Outlaw Torn, Drumhalla, Burry Hill, Ladder, Reluctant. There's a gap of a couple of lengths then to Forest Rock, who heads the chasing pack. A couple of them are wide on the track. Finium the Grey is the one that's widest of all. And I think it might be Ruther Glen. There's two uh, David Robertson horses. I think Ruther, Ruther Glen is the one that's wide. Looking towards the back of the field, Pace Ashton Lord and Latterly Pepper are the back two. So they're making their way towards the second flight then. And Outlaw Torn, the jockey sort of decided to let the horse have his head, and he's in the lead by about a length as they take the second. And they're all safely over that one with Outlaw Torn, the leader from Burry Hill, and second Drumhalla, third looks at fourth. And then a little gap back to Carnoustie. Apologies for my voice there, you know, some sort of summertime cough today as they skip over that one. Outlaw Torn is the leader from Drumheller and Burry Hill Lad, then Reluctant is in fourth. Carnoustis, they take the fourth. Pembroke Barra Killer is now the back marker. So just a little more than two miles to go then, as they skip over number five. And they're all over that one okay with Outlaw Torn and the Yellow Jacket, the leader from Drumheller on the inside second. Then Burry Hill Lad, Finium the Grey. He's making a significant move around the outside. You think the jockey will try and tap that one into the rail as they take the left-handed turn after the winning post. But at the moment, he's going to struggle to be able to do that because he's been held out by Ruther Glen. But Outlaw Torn is the leader. As the field all start to drift inwards. And you can see Finium was pretty inconvenienced by the fact that there's a big wall of horses on his inside. Lost quite a bit of ground. So Outlaw torn from Drumhalla, and then Reluctant and Burry Hill Lad, then Louder Shining. Then pick your next one from about seven of them are virtually in a line. Dolly is just about the back marker, but there's not a lot between first and last, to be honest, at the moment. 10, 12 lengths, maybe. And they've still got a mile and a half to go, so we're around about the halfway point, and come down towards the next flight. That was flight six, and they're all safely over that one with Outlaw Torn still in front. Drum Haller on the inside is second. We're losing one at the back there. It looks like half pipe. He's been pulled up. So that's the first one out of the race. That's Stu Gray's second horse. It's his second choice horse. He's got a, a, a second choice cap on. No, I'm not sure that makes any difference. Anyway, it's Burry Hill Lad now just a bad in front from Outlaw Torn as they take number eight. And they're losing pace. Ashton Lord now. He's been pulled up as well. So, 
Aye. What was we did well on the flat last season? Sent jumping and doesn't appear to like it. And latterly Pepper is now pulling up as well. So suddenly we lost three. It's the pull-up kit, isn't it? Three mile race. And it's boring all that on the outside of Outlaw Tour. Then comes a Moya Super and Drumhalla. Reluctant to still be up there most of the way. Camp Dame de Campania is after that one. Then Carnoustie and Vanguard Dream Finium is next. Then oh, we're losing another one at the back there. That looks like his deadly golf being pulled up now. So there's four pulled up so far. And quite a lot. And Borough Hill that is just about in front from Outlaw Tour second. Persian Gulf is third. to make their way up the straight now they can go with this next one that's the ninth they've got three more to take and Persian Gulf has now taken the lead but look on the wide outside St Orange the top weight is coming through and so too is Dolly it's St Orange and Dolly up the centre of the track suddenly not the biggest two now don't they Persian Gulf and reluctant then louder shining Pembroke Barrett Killers trying to get into it over the tenth they go and St Orange is now about a length clear St Orange from Dolly in second then comes louder shining Persian Gulf reluctant Pembroke Barrett Killer over the second last they go Dolly made a mistake that's given the initiative to St Orange is now suddenly two clear it's St Orange by two St Orange racing down with the final flight then looks like he's probably only got to jump it skips over it nicely gets away from it well Dolly's trying to rally, so too is Pembroke Murray, Killer and Carnoustie, but they're not going to get to this St. Orange, I don't think he's got less than a further to go, and St. Orange is a good two lengths clear, and racing up towards the line now, then St. Orange is going to hold on and win this one, pretty comfortable in the end, in fact, up towards the line there, it's St. Orange that takes it from Carnoustie, Dolly, Dame the Companion finished well, looking towards the back out, Lord Tor was pulled up as well, and I think a Moya Super may have been the last, but it's St. Orange for Darren Thompson that's the winner. Carnoustie for David Robertson is second. Dolly for Sue Gray third. Dame de Campania for John Morgan was fourth. And Pembroke Barra Killer for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.